Hey guys, so welcome to Crypto News Daily. In this episode, we're going to be talking about some crazy things that are happening in Bitcoin, some insane gains, and also I have some other stuff to talk about regarding what's happening with Samsung and Samsung Pay potentially in uh, implementing cryptocurrency. So let's just go ahead and jump into the news. Our first story of the day is actually going to be about Bitcoin and some insane movements happening in the Bitcoin space. So after this is this this is insane. After 30% bullback or rather after every 30% bull pullback, Bitcoin has gained an average of 153%. So this is this is something really in, incredible. So every time Bitcoin has seen a pullback of 30%, it's then gone on to gain an average of 153%. This basically means that the current predictions of Bitcoin hitting 20,000 or $30,000 are underestimated. Okay? Recent data revealed that every time Bitcoin has seen a pullback, this is reported on Crypto Slate, has seen a pullback of 30% or more, it was always followed by a sharp rally. The world's largest cryptocurrency gains on average 153% every price drop, meaning that there will still be plenty of buying opportunities in the bull market. Now here's the interesting thing. Impending parabolic run or another pullback. Following a year-long bear market, Bitcoin's latest rally has left many traders expecting a major pullback. Analysts predicted that Bitcoin could drop to as low as $6,000 after it failed to break resistance at 8300 A slight move downward caused a frenzy among traders, as many thought it would be their last chance to get in on Bitcoin and profit from short-term trading. However, Bitcoin has managed to recover and climb back to around $8,000. And at the moment of making this video, Bitcoin is currently going for over $8,000 a coin. So a lot of experts believe that a parabolic run is imminent, meaning that a massive run like we've never seen before is coming. And this actually brings us to our next story. So could Bitcoin reach $100,000 in 2020? This indicator says A. And Bitcoin is about to get a lot more expensive than it is today, according to Dr. Julian Haas. Don't forget that Bitcoin is going to be having next year, so it's going to be much more difficult to get new Bitcoins. The author of Cryptocurrency Simply Explained evaluated Bitcoin's future performance based on textbook indicator, uh, based on a textbook indicator, okay? And this is where things get really interesting. Tidal stock to flow commodity ratio. The index measures the amount of assets held in an inventory stock with an annual product production rate flow. Overall, the ratio describes how much time it would take to, to would take the stock to reach the flow. Okay. Dr. Haas notes that it would typically take 62 years for available gold to reach from stock to flow with curbs. It supplies against high demand. At the same time, silver would take approximately 22 years to complete a similar flow, making it slightly cheaper than gold. However, Bitcoin, this is where things get insane. However, Bitcoin would take about 27 years to reach its total circulation of $17.7 million to stock at the rate of $657,000 per year. But following the halving, an event that would slash Bitcoin's supply to 12.5 BTC, BTC from 12.5 BTC to 6.25 BTC. Wow, it's less than I thought. It's it's more than I thought. It's going to be it's a major slash. The Bitcoin's annual flow would reduce to 328,500 coins. This is now this gets really really interesting. And Dr. Haas says the production was the most crucial factor in this determination. And what this data ultimately tells us is that uh, at present, I mean, at present, there's a there's also having of separate uh, of the separated SF multi cycles as Bitcoin support support uh, supply rate goes got slashed in half. So Dr. Haas predicted that it would take the cryptocurrency to at least a hundred thousand dollars upon halving. This is insane. By the way, this is not just this is not just that. Suddenly we have way less Bitcoin 
production that would that we would have now so in order to keep the stock to folio ratio stable the bitcoin price would need to at least double but it's so much lower right now compared to gold if we get closer and close to the precious metal then the price should approximately go to 100,000 maybe $300,000 a coin and this would potentially hurt occur in 2020 as soon as the halving shortly after the halving occurred or even before the halving occurred so basically one bitcoin in 2020 based on uh based on significant indicators strongly suggest that bitcoins will potentially be going for as much as a hundred thousand dollars next year when i did a video earlier i joked that you know sharky was saying that fomo hasn't even started yet and i said i agreed with him i said that when we get to around eighty thousand dollars of bitcoin that's when we can start talking about fomo and you know now based on statistical software that actually evaluates this it's like like i said guys i'm not a prophet i just have common sense and i and i stay plugged in you know it's a hundred thousand dollars in 2020 almost seems cheap at this point if you have a single bitcoin don't sell it like i said like if you have a single bitcoin hold it hold it with your life hold it like your life depends on it okay now in final news we're going to jump to the next story in our final news guys don't this is where things get really really interesting samsung is doing some incredible things and making some really large moves in the crypto space right now and this could have a huge impact on just the future of uh, on the future of you know acquiring crypto of storing crypto of using bitcoin i mean this is this is really really cool stuff so uh, what's going on with samsung is they're actually they are rumored to be actually uh adding cryptocurrency integration to samsung pay all right this is an article that was posted on being crypto and basically here's how the story goes samsung is considering the integration of cryptocurrency payments into samsung pay according to the south korean mainstream media outlet for those of you that don't know what samsung pay is it's a similar service to apple pay and reportedly it reportedly accounts for around 80 percent of the market share of the payments in south korea so samsung pay is more popular than Apple Pay, way more popular than Apple Pay in South Korea, for example. And the potential integration of cryptocurrency assets is seen as a strategy for Samsung to expand its user base. What that would mean is that if you can start using cryptocurrency through Samsung Pay, this just pulls it even further into the mainstream. South Korea is known to have a demographic with a high percentage of the younger generation keen on cryptocurrencies, and Samsung has previously established its own blockchain task force that has led to various initiatives, including the recent introduction of Samsung blockchain wallet. The crypto asset wallet was integrated by Samsung into the flagship Galaxy S10 device in March, which supports Ethereum based tokens. So again, guys, this is a huge, huge deal, huge deal, Ethereum based tokens, so ERC 20 tokens and so forth. Now, if you if you're paying attention to this, as I've said, you don't want to waste any time. You want to ensure that you're actually, you know, investing in crypto right now. As I said, you should not be purchasing Bitcoin. You should actually be purchasing uh, purchasing altcoins, but you have to learn which altcoins to purchase so that you can actually make money from these purchases, because these are the coins that are going to increase by a thousand times. And that's where you're going to make the real money. If you want to take advantage of this, if you want to actually to actually to, to make real money, to actually survive and thrive in this next bull run, then I strongly suggest that you take the how to invest in uh, in the uh, how to invest in altcoins that will increase by 10 times to a thousand times in value course that course is on cryptomoney.academy you can find a link to it in the description of the video it's going for it's um i mean it's 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 an incredible course it's going to 399 next month you can get it right now at a steal of 299 and i mean this course is going to teach you everything you need to know so that you can invest in crypto invest in all coins and you can figure out which coins to invest in so you don't just jump around buying any random coin and losing all of your money because you can end up getting scam coins which can cause you serious problems in the future so let me know what you guys think about today's news if you're excited with what's happening with samsung pay being integrating cryptocurrency in what are your thoughts about bitcoin hitting a hundred thousand dollars per coin next year or three even three hundred thousand dollars a coin next year 
Let me know what you think. And let me know what cryptos you're currently holding on to or if you're still on the line about investing in crypto. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Love God, get money, and cheers. I'll see you in the next one.